Hey, this is Shotzi, and today we're going to be going over advanced movement in Call of Duty. So the big thing in Call of Duty now is slide canceling. It's been involved ever since, what, Black Ops 4, MW, and a lot of these past Call of Duty games. So in recent Call of Duties, the new movement is slide canceling. And what slide canceling is, it basically just the camera that you could do on your enemies and it, it basically looks crazy and you could just, you know, mess up their aim assist and easily kill them. So to do that, you want to slide, slide, and then jump. So it should look something like this. And it might not look crazy on your screen, but on the enemy screen, you're losing their aim assist and, you know, it looks just crazy on their screen, so. The benefit of slide canceling is like, on their screen, instead of you just strafing like this, when you slide cancel like this, on their screen, you're basically, you're shooting as you're sliding and then like you'll pop up right here and it's harder for them to like trace you. And it's, uh, it's called a camera basically. And it's, it's basically just harder for them to shoot you. Growing up, my uncle taught me how to play claw. Uh, you know, not a lot of people play claw. You know, I just hold my in index finger on every single, like I use my index finger for, for every single button. So for X, circle, triangle, square, literally for every single button. And I do it for reloading, I do it for everything. And then I play default settings. So I shoot with my, my R2, aim with L2, and uh, yeah. There's a lot of good jumps that you know we probably might not know that everyone should be doing. So for example, if you're ever stuck on this plane, underneath it and need to quickly go up. You could easily jump on this little ledge here <clears throat> and then easily just get in the plane. You could do it on the other side, but just a little bit different. It's on the, uh, it's on like facing the wall and it's somewhat the same thing. You just jump on it and it should look something like that. And there's like a lot of jumps that are really beneficial to get into places faster. For like, for example, this one, instead of going all the way down to the back stairs, you could easily just jump on this, like that, go on this head glitch, walk to the left side of the map, right side of the map. Um, there's another jump over here. So there's a P5 hill, which is over here. And as soon as you're done with the P5 hill and it's rotating, you can go on this box right here, have a nice angle on the enemy's uh, spawn, you know, catch anyone going up the stairs or anything like that. So I know exactly where like enemies are gonna be at for the most part, you know, on certain hills, and there's enemy spawn locations and you will know like the majority of them are where they're gonna be coming from. So for example, like this P1 hill, I know that everyone is most likely gonna be coming from like this hallway right here or you know, this left wing. So what I do is instead of like doing the strafe and aim it in, you could, uh, you could just slide cancel, you know, check this. If you don't see anything, you know, just slide cancel again, check this left wing, see there's not nothing there, you know. Instead of like premium like this, you could just, you could easily just like run up this wall if you don't see anything, slide cancel it. You know, little stuff like that. Basically just like slide canceling around corners is like your best way to like peek whenever you're looking for angles or looking for enemies. Uh, the best way to practice slide canceling would be going into a private match and just doing it against any bots. Because if you're trying to do it in the public matches, you know, the most of the times you're just getting mowed down by, you know, skill-based match ringing kids, so. Your best way is literally just, just to go in a custom game, you know, slide cancel against bots, try killing them, and you'll know if you're doing it right just by watching, like, for example, I could just do it in front of a bot, he'll kill me, and then I could see if I'm doing it right just off his screen. So let me try to do this in here. Let me see. Come on, bot, kill me. Might have shown. So, yeah. You can't really see it right there, but you get the point of it. You're basically like slide, sliding and then you're going into a standing position, but on their screen, when you're doing it, it just, it gives you uh, an advantage, basically, a speaker's advantage. Because you're seeing them before you, they see you. That's just how the, the game works. In this game, so especially with the sub, you know, you could easily do the, like, running gun just because, like, a gun hoe. It's basically a perk that allows you to, like, sprint and have your gun up at the same time. And, you know, you could, for sub players, you don't really need to check, like, every corner cautiously, but, when you do want to check corners is, is whenever like, you know, you hear someone obviously, or you think someone's going to be on like a certain head glitch, 
or anything like that. But for the most part, you could just stay sprinting until you see someone. It's not, you know, they're that bad because of um, gun hell or whatever. But for AR players, obviously, just like power positions, like from here to there, you know, you want to slide cancel and then check that corner. You don't see anything, you know, go up in this corner, check this middle, and just play cautious with an AR and just like make sure to peek uh, for power positions and stuff like that. The reason why subs are good in every single game is because of the strafe. So when it comes down to AR, obviously like, you know, you, there's not really any type of strafe because of the stock or whatever, but for subs it's different. Every single gunfight you get in, for the most part, like you always want to strafe, so. Let's say, you know, I'm trying to kill this guy here. I want to either strafe left or right. And for subs, it's really good because there's a certain attachment that allows you to strafe pretty quick in, uh, in this game. So for subs, I'd say the strafe either, you know, left or right. It's good for subs, but not for ARs in this game. So instead of going up a ladder normally, which is like this, takes about like two full seconds or so, you could easily just jump and then jump again and you get up there really quick. So. You know, there's a rotation, there's a hill right there, and basically the enemies try to push up, and you'll get like this type of spawn point, and you know, every second matters, so what you wanna do is jump, and then jump again, oh. You wanna jump, and then jump again, and you could easily just, you know, mow them down, or just, you know, get a couple of them weak or so. So ledge sliding is in this game. It was in a, a lot of the Treyarch, Treyarch games, but, Basically, it just allows you to get a greater distance off a ledge. So, for example, let's see this ledge here, and I'm trying to get, you know, there pretty quick. So, to do so, you just want to jump and then slide, and it, it's a pretty good, you know, movement technique just because if you're ever trying to get to places faster, you could easily get there. So, from here to there, you can do the same thing off, off this, like, little ladder ledge. You just slide, slide again, and then you get there pretty quick instead of just, you know, jumping off it and then trying to get to where you want to go. It's really faster and yeah. So yeah, that, that, that right there, I did it without doing the ledge slide and it took way longer than, you know, what I do, which is just slide and slide and then get there pretty quick. And you could do it on every single ledge, like any ledge you could think of, you know, this one, you could do it on these boxes here. You could do it literally like any ledge and you get like pretty far, pretty quick. Yeah, so if you're ever stuck in this corner, you know, you just look up, just jump on this little arrow, and then you could easily escape. There's like a lot of stuff like that around the map that you could easily do. Like, you know, you're ever stuck here, jump on this thing, and then just like slide away. You know, you just look around the map and then you'll just be able to tell like you're able to mount to it or not. I literally just, you know, for the most part, I sit in a custom game, you know, while I'm playing bots. And then, you know, if I ever see something, something that like I think I could do, I try it and then I find it from there. You know, some people in my streams, whenever I'm streaming, usually like, you know, DM me or send me clips of them like doing some crazy movement and then I try it and then I try to implement it in my gameplay as well. So there's a thing called the snake slide that a lot of people have been doing, especially in the pro scene. So basically what you want to do, you want to go into, it, into a prone, but then you want to cancel it by sprinting and then you want to slide right after. So it should look like this. The way you, you know when you're doing it right, if your little if your left hand waves like a little bit, like that, and then you just slide. So I'll show you how it looks on the enemy's POV. So the benefit of doing it is it's just like a slide cancel, but it's a longer slide cancel. So instead of you you know slide canceling from here, you'll slide cancel from all the way from here all the way to like that that concrete area. It's basically just like a longer, longer slide cancel and uh, it looks crazy on the enemy's POV. Okay, and those were some advanced movements in Call of Duty. You know, hopefully you guys could implement that in your guys' gameplay. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and thanks for watching.